So um, what we're doing is a little bit of uh, B reel in the background um, and to um, uh, see if we can just do this thing uh, with the iPhone alone. Uh, we're gonna be using that camera right there, um, but I need to hook up audio to it and a whole bunch of other stuff. So not an ideal solution. It's much better for taking pictures, um, but uh, here I'm trying to use some of the video capability. Um, I think I need to change some things around on it because it's not really turning out too well on YouTube. Uh, but I do know that uh, this iPhone tends to be working pretty well and we are recording and uh, with this uh, gimbal, um, it's able to follow me around. So uh, we're gonna test out the function of the gimbal while we get set up for a shoot where we're gonna be talking about the big three um, and the uh, different backpacks that we have at our disposal. Um, so here we go. All right, <clears throat> so that was actually very enlightening. Uh, went ahead and measured out our backs. I'm sorry, went ahead and uh, weighed out the backpacks. Uh, no, the results speak for themselves. I mean, you saw what I was doing. There we go. So this is what was interesting. Um, my Bridger backpack from 1996, which is original Dana design <laughs> made in Montana, uh, came in at 4.4 pounds. Uh, the newer Bridger that I bought, the 55, uh, which came from Mystery Ranch, same people, um, came in at 5.4 pounds. Um, the Bridger 45, which I bought, um, as, because it was going to take up less volume, it turns out to be 4.6 pounds. So very close between this one and this one. So 1996 to 2023, that's a brand new uh, backpack. Um, Gregory, um, I've got a smaller running backpack, uh, more of a hydration carrier, put a couple snacks in it, uh, throw in the camera, you're good to go. Um, that comes at 1.8 pounds. Um, and then we've got this monster. Uh, and this monster is the uh, Mystery Ranch Crew Cab. Uh, this is a military pack. Uh, basically, this thing is designed to haul anything, um, and it, it's actually really appropriate for what it is that we're going to be doing on this trip. Um, you know, with uh, Jenny coming up from the roadside or me meeting her down there, I need something that I can carry a lot of weight in um, and, uh, you know, actually stick another backpack into it if possible. Uh, be able to carry it up the mountain, go set up camp, uh, take care of food, all that type of stuff. And that one comes in at 7.5 pounds. So that's not that big of a deal because uh, that's just a, a temporary, let's call it a utility backpack. But the notable thing here is that the Bridger from 96 and the Bridger from 2023, I still need to compare the volumes on these are. So with the two Bridgers being the exact same weight, uh, we're going to have to go ahead and do a, a bit more of a comparison with them. Um, yeah, of course, you know, I like the new backpacks. Um, but, um, you know, my Bridger from 96 has always just carried like a dream. Um, and if I've just found out that its weight is comparable to everything else, why don't I stick with what I know, what's comfortable, and what already has 1,500 miles on it. Um, it you know, the, the nice part about what we're doing is um, I'll have the option to change out backpacks. So I've got three great options here, uh, plus the fourth for the day jogging. Um, but um, uh, this is just kind of interesting to me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot this segment.